Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 16th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had quite a day of data with um, the market really ignoring um, the bad durable goods orders and then went on to rally pretty nicely after the Fed um, raised interest rates by three quarters of a point. And interestingly enough, after they surged really hard, we pulled back leaving behind some uncertainty in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Hey, I want to make a quick reminder that um, I will be gone uh, tomorrow. I will be traveling, um, actually headed out to visit my dad for his 80th birthday. And um, so I will be gone. And as a matter of fact, I will be gone all next week as well. Also, it would um, just a reminder, Monday is a holiday, so we have a three-day weekend coming up here. So you won't have to miss me too long, and then I'll be back in the saddle, uh, cranking it right back up. Don't be too surprised if I don't drop in um, uh, something from time to time on the YouTube just to kind of stay in touch. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here, um, we left behind kind of some uncertainty um, in this candle pattern. Spinning top doji here on the diamonds. We had surged up nicely. It looked like we were going to get that relief rally. We pressed up into this resistance and then, boy, at the end of the day, we really saw some selling pulling it right back to leave us with kind of a questionable day. And then this morning, my goodness, we have some bearishness coming in. It looks like we're going to make new lows in the market this morning at the open. Quite a little bit of bearishness coming in here. So what we have to look forward to is, well, we may want to start looking at some of these price support levels that we've kind of talked about here in these charts, trying to decide where we might come into. You know, we've got a little Little bit of price support right in here right there around the 30,000 level in the Dow so if we can hold in there around 30,000 we may be all right um, but if we fall through 30,000 um, if those bears push down through there we could have a bit of a problem if the bulls can find reason to get a hold of things today and get moving then we're gonna have to deal with some areas right up here now um, with a little bit of price resistance in that chart our technical our technicals on the charts remain pretty darn ugly noticing that our 34 EMA crossing down through the 50 and our 50 day continues to drop toward that 500 day not exactly a bullish situation for our market and if we were to take a look at our SPY again a little bit of uncertainty in there it held up just a little tiny bit better here at the close and it looked like the S&P was trying really hard yesterday to get something going but by golly, um, just couldn't quite hold on. So now we have this situation here where we're well below um, some uh, levels here in the chart that we would like to be seeing or paying attention to, well below those. And that is um, a potential problem for us here in the market. Um, and what I mean is we're way below that 4,000 level in the SPY. And it looks like we're gonna take and make some new lows here today. Um, and unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of price support over here in the chart, as you can see. So watch that closely. Now, if we, uh, if we see those bulls react, by the way, we could bounce down in here and immediately reverse and come back up. But we're creating another one of these trading ranges um, here in the chart that may be a little bit uncomfortable. But if those bulls can push back, we'll want to watch that level right in there. And our technicals here remain very bearish, just extremely bearish 34 EMA crossing down uh, 50 closing in on that 500 day if we look at our Nasdaq QQQ QQQ had one of the strongest moves yesterday and then boy it faded 
pretty good at the end of the day. Notice that we pushed right up here into some of this price resistance here in the chart. We just couldn't quite deal with it. We backed away pretty hard there at the end of the day. And now we see those bears coming in here this morning and a possible retest of lows um, with the other indexes suggesting new lows in the day. I would not be surprised to see that um, the NASDAQ makes new lows here on the day. So watch that closely. And if the bulls can get going, then we're going to have to watch that resistance level here in the chart if they can push us back up. Now our technicals here, uh, very dismal. We're 500 or 50 days already down through the 500. We're looking pretty weak here on the market so just be a little bit careful um, we do have a little bit of relief in those bond rates today the bond yields and that could help the Nasdaq a little bit if they can kind of ease those back a little bit and then if we take a look at our Russell IWM um, doggone it um, trying to get going yesterday um, we we were holding on to this price support here in the chart and you'll notice it looks like we may set a new low here on um, IWM at the open um, quite a bit of bearishness in here and of course our technicals here are really dismal um, not a good situation for the morning um, today um, kind of a throwback Thursday it looks like for us let's take a look at our VIX our VIX um, pulled back nicely yesterday but doggone it we just can't really um, make a big difference here in that VIX. We're still quite elevated. Now with this big gap this morning, we could really see this push up pretty strongly. So we're again, we're going to want to watch this area up here. If we were to push through that area, and I think what the concern is this morning is um, everyone's starting to worry about that potential of recession um, and wondering what that might mean for the market. So keep them, keep an eye on that. If we um, zip up through there, remember, we still have that potential that we can see 401k um, holders and mutual fund holders capitulate here eventually and really um, sell us off strongly. So watch carefully. I, I do think um, overall our T2122 continues to show us that we are in a bearish or a bullish reversal zone here. Um, on T2122, we should get that opportunity to move back up here on that chart um, in this area. But boy, we just can't seem to quite get her going here, as you can see. Pretty ugly in this T2122. So we popped up out of that reversal zone, just not getting enough going here to uh, get anything really excited here um, today. But if those um, if those bulls, we'll, we'll be right back down here with this gap down this morning, right back down here scraping our belly on the bottom. Um, of the ocean if those bulls can find um, any inspiration we certainly have um, a, a lot of upside opportunity but remember the hits just keep on coming with some of this economic data so we'll want to watch that closely we could see the bears continue to control this market pretty strongly and if we take a look at our t2107 well that didn't do so well um, yesterday um, whoops have to learn how to type here, I guess. Um, T2107 um, remained down here at a new low um, yesterday. Only 17.5% of our stocks um, getting above that 200-day moving average. So you can see very bearish, lots of price resistance above, still in a downtrend. Uh, we've got a lot of work here on T2107, and this gap down this morning certainly isn't going, going to be too helpful to that indicator. If we take a look at a T2108, T2108 didn't quite make a new low um, and hooked back up yesterday. So that's a good sign. We can kind of hang our hat on that with a little bit of bullishness. We didn't make a new low, but obviously the downtrend's still in place. 15, 16% of our stocks holding above our 40 day moving average. Kind of tough to make a bullish case on a chart like that but um, watch that close. And then if we take a look at our um, T2101, well, T2101 continued to spike up yesterday. That selling that came in at the end of the day kind of pushed us up through some of this price resistance in the chart. We'll want to keep an eye on that because 
this would mean that the bears um, uh, momentum is still with those bears and we'll want to watch that pretty closely uh, for this morning let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar is going to keep us guessing here this morning we've got three potential market moving reports we've got housing starts and permits um, they are expecting those to decline a little bit, and that shouldn't be a surprise with 30-year um, interest rates um, up over 6% now. Um, shouldn't be a major, major surprise in that. Um, then we're going to have jobless claims. That could be interesting today. We saw jobless claims, um, so they're just starting to ever so slightly creep up. And consensus is suggesting that the jobless claims declined a little bit um, this week. That might be a little bit of a stretch, so watch that carefully. If that comes in to be a surprising miss, on that number that could add to the bearishness here today and then we've got a philly fed manufacturing index um, certainly can be a market mover and they are looking for that to improve a little bit here today so watch that close now we have a, a natural gas report um, that certainly could be um, important today because that natural gas continues to be very very strong here overall in the market and then we're going to have um, some shorter term bond auctions and that might be interesting the way the bonds have been fluctuating fed balance sheet um, statement uh, the first roll off occurred uh, yesterday and um, we'll have another roll off occurring at the end of the month so might want to keep an eye on that as you plan forward for friday remember we've got a three-day weekend ahead and we've got jerome powell in here making comments uh first thing remember it's a quadruple Quadruple, quadruple witching day that means we have um, lots of option contracts expiring futures contracts things like that and we could see a lot of volatility around a day like that so just be prepared for some additional volatility and then we've got industrial production and that certainly could be a uh, market mover on friday so you'll want to keep an eye on that on our um, earnings calendar you know to <laughs> earnings continue to wind down and continue to be quite light on the number of earnings but today we actually have some notables that potentially could be market moving this afternoon we have uh, Adobe that we'll be reporting today. Now, taking a look at Adobe, obviously this has been in a pretty ugly downtrend um, in the chart. So um, we, we could certainly use a good earnings report here on Adobe um, to try and help out the um, NASDAQ index, but we'll wanna watch that closely. Big resistance level in the chart. And as you can see, um, we're trying to catch just a little bit of price support in here. So you'll wanna watch that one pretty closely uh, this afternoon after the bell. We've got CMC that will also be reporting. Keep an eye on CMC. We've got JBL. JBL will be in there reporting. This has been range bound here for a while and really a wide ranging choppy area of the chart so this could be an interesting report maybe it gives us the opportunity for that to push on through or maybe um, we break on down here in jbl and last but not least we've got kroger in here reporting today so keep a close eye on that kroger's been in this uh, protracted little downtrend overall it's up on the year quite a bit as you can see we've got this longer term upside trend so we've pulled back here pretty sharply we may be running into this longer term trend and a little bit of price support in here in that chart so keep an eye on it this could be a, a, an important report today let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful to be helpful to your trading day if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. And of course, it helps out a lot if you share this video out on your social media feed. I truly appreciate it. And I just wanna say uh, just a big shout out and thank you to everyone. Um, 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 it's really nice to see everyone going along and giving thumbs up to other comments on the channel. So thank you guys for all of that kind support and thank you for the kindness of this community. Um, 
um, as we work together as a team to improve um, as traders. So thank you so much. And um, again, uh, just a major shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. I do truly appreciate it. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at um, a few of these charts. Now, keep in mind, guys, um, with the volatility that we're seeing this morning, anything, everything is going to be pretty dangerous. But um, take a look at FedEx. Now, FedEx followed through, had a big move up here, and I've talked about this one several times. If we're going to start catching some kind of recovery, we're going to need the shippers to um, start moving along. And as you can see, FedEx breaking through here, um, the downtrend, uh, popping through some price resistance, and now we could get that little pullback in the chart. So let's watch for that resting pullback. If we can hold that trend, if we can hold that support area in here, rest a little bit, that might set an opportunity up for an upside move. So watch that closely. UPS might also be kind of interesting to keep an eye on just because FedEx could drag it along here a little bit. Um, obviously not in the best of patterns here yet. As as a matter of fact, this could go either direction. I think it's about a 50-50 shot up and 50-50 shot down um, on UPS. But um, with FedEx looking so good, you might want to keep an eye on it. You know, I got to tell you, um, I, I've talked a lot about AMD. There's just been a um, an amazing amount of reports coming out just talking glowingly AMD is just going to go to the moon and all that kind of thing. Um, this is something I want to point out and I talk about these kind of things over and over. When we break downtrends, we want to get proof that we can hold those downtrends as support. So unfortunately, we gave up this upside trend um, in AMD. We're pushing back down and I would watch this pretty closely. Um, this right in here could serve as a resistance level in the chart. And with the bearishness that we're seeing this morning, I certainly wouldn't rule out the possibility that AMD comes back down here and retests these lows. And the question will be, will it hold those lows if um, we push on down there? So watch that carefully. Um, if um, once again, for, for me to be bullish on a chart, we have to begin an uptrend. We need, um, um, after breaking a support level like this, this is going to have to come back up and set a higher low. That's the only way I'll be interested in it. I don't speculate off of bottoms. I'm not a bottom picker um, at all. Um, I want to see those higher lows come into play. So AMD's got a little bit of work here um, yet to do. Place you might want to be keeping an eye on. It's been really a weird situation here um, with gold and silver. But one of the reasons I think we saw gold selling back off um, is because we saw um, that strengthening dollar coming back in with those bonds um, yields going up. But let's watch this in here. GLD, um, it would make some sense with the bearishness of the market that GLD would get going. Yet at the same time, we've got so much going on, I think, in margin calls. People forced to uh, redeem um, gold and silver for those. But notice this pattern in here. We have this nice little um, flat bottom wedge uh, developing in here. So watch this carefully. If this holds in here, we can start perking out, making some higher lows. There may be some upside potential coming in GLD here before too long. So watch that close. Now silver, yeah, not so much. Um, silver's got a little bit more work to do maybe um, to that upside. We're dealing with a fairly substantial resistance level in the chart, albeit a little bit of a higher low in there. Uh, still got some work to do. Um, other places, guys, you may want to take a look is is I think we continue have to we continue to have to consider um, these pullbacks in energy. Um, we had a pretty substantial pullback here in UNG. You can see we're trying to pop up here a little bit this morning. Um, watch those areas in here. Now, here, again, here's my rule, and you can like it or not like it, but when we break a support level, we need to recover. 
um, that support level or at a minimum put in a higher low so that we can resume the uptrend to the upside. Because if we cannot put in that higher low, if we can't recover that support, then just realize that we could rally back up into here and that begins the downtrend in that chart. So keep a close eye on that. Um, it is certainly possible that we could get a longer rest here in, in natural gas um, just simply because of the uh, just the bearishness, the, the, the pain that we're experiencing in the market with the consumer. And then also, I think it would be a good idea. We've had some pullback. We've had a little bit of rest in some of these um, oil sector stocks. Um, take a look at like um, CVX, a um, little resting pullback. A um, little bit stronger than I would have expected in here, but watch this price support across here. Again, if we can gain some price support and then hold and start setting a, a higher low, that puts in that opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those. Um, USO is one that um, United States, whoops, United States Oil Fund has pulled back here a little bit, but notice this big area of price support here in the chart where we can hold on and maybe continue to move on through to the upside. So watch those. So with that, guys, you know, it's going to be an uncertain day with such a big gap down this morning. Could be, could see some reversals here on the day because we are in such a a big um, short-term oversold condition, but I'd be really, really careful. Remember, it, it's just a uh, the market is very uncertain, and um, uh, sometimes the best course of action is to stand aside and protect your capital. So, with that, guys, I want to wish you all the very best. I want to wish you a great trading week next week. Have a wonderful three-day weekend while I'm gone, and I will see you guys. Um, you know, Monday, a week from now, um, I'll be back and um, I want to wish you all the best. Take care, everyone. Have a great one. And I will talk to you all very soon.